Hi there, let's take a look at how you can calculate uh, the costs of a business using a, a typical numerical example. So we're looking here to calculate first of all total cost. That's simply the sum of total fixed cost, costs that don't change with output, and total variable cost. So total cost is TFC plus TVC. And that's the calculation if we do the two sums. The average total cost is total cost divided by output. And notice here how average cost falls quite steeply initially. This is because we're spreading the same fixed cost of £2,000 over a bigger range of output. The average fixed cost must always fall as production increases. Look what's happening to average cost in our example. Average cost is falling steeply from 50 through 27, 19, 15, but the rate at which average cost is falling is slowing down. And there comes a point at output 250 when the average cost is minimized, then it flatlines and then starts to rise. What about marginal cost? Well, marginal cost is the change in total cost from producing one extra unit of output. Notice in this calculation, as we move from output 0 to 50, our total costs go up by 500. So the marginal cost of each of those extra 50 units is £10 per unit. And if you perform the same marginal cost calculation throughout the table, you'll notice that marginal cost initially declines up to the output level of 200. But beyond that level, the marginal cost starts to rise. In other words, total cost is increasing at an increasing rate. So let's go back to our original table. Average cost was falling, shown by the blue arrows here. Then it stabilized at 13 and then started to rise at 14. Now compare column three with column four and note the relationship between average and marginal cost. The average cost will fall when the marginal cost is below the previous average. However, if marginal cost is the same as average cost, then the average will remain the same. But in our final output change from 350 to 400, the marginal cost goes up from 13 to 21 for each extra unit. And it's that which starts to drive the average cost higher. The marginal cost drives the average cost. And we see here that relationship. So if marginal cost is less than average cost, the average cost must fall. But if marginal cost equals average cost, the average cost will stay the same. And if marginal cost is greater than average cost, the average cost must rise. These are important relationships to understand as part of understanding the shape of the traditional cost curves of a business. And here are those two main cost curves, marginal and average cost. The marginal cost, when you draw it in the exam, must intersect average cost at the minimum of the average cost curve. Average cost will rise when the marginal cost is greater than the average cost. Here are some key uh, short run cost concepts. You might want to pause the video at this point to make sure you really understand what each of these costs mean. It's important to be able to define your terms carefully and accurately to score good marks in the exam. So this has been a very short revision video looking at how we calculate costs using a numerical example. 